welcome. I'm Inger, she is Rosie, and this is Be Free Yoga. We're so glad you joined us today. This is a one hour vinyasa flow yoga class designed for all levels. Just modify based on your fitness level, any injuries you might have, and how you're feeling today, because every day is different and every body is different. If you like practicing with no music or with your own music, you're in the right place. If you prefer to practice with my carefully curated playlist, you can find these same classes on my website, www.BeFreeYogaAustin.com. And that's B with two E's, like the bumblebee. Um, also there you will find a relaxing guided meditation and written reflections on the weekly topic to help you on your spiritual path. Enjoy your practice today, and thank you so much for joining us. Hi, welcome to Be Free Yoga. I'm Inger, and this is Rosie. And uh, welcome to our Be Free Yoga New Year's edition class. Um, our New Year's theme is following your bliss. And sometimes when we're following our bliss, it's actually necessary to make decisions along the way, which can be daunting um, and confusing sometimes. So today we're also gonna explore decision-making here on our mat. You'll need two blocks for class and grab one of them and start on your back in supported bridge. Bring your block underneath your hips on the lowest setting. And then bring your feet a little wide and let your knees knock together. Your arms rest by your sides. Honor yourself for coming and then arrive fully. We always draw our attention to our breath at the beginning of class because our breath is just as important as our postures. So take a full deep inhale through your nose and an open mouth exhale. Another full breath in. And sigh it out. And then find your natural breath. Just deeper and slower. Feel energized on the inhales. And relaxed on the exhale. and send your legs long to the front of the room and cross your right ankle over your left. And our physical practice today will highlight, stretch and strengthen and isolate our outer glutes. We'll also do preparatory postures for eight angle pose. Just starting to work in the direction of that posture. Cross your ankles the other way. Let your breath be a perfect circle. Equal inhales and exhales. Uncross your ankles and come into waterfall. Make sure your block is still under your hips and then send your legs skyward. Lengthen through the back seams of your legs and flex your feet. New Year's is a great time to plan and set goals and get organized. 
but make sure that your New Year's resolutions don't come from a place of lack, of thinking that you're not good enough, just as you are. Real change comes from self-acceptance. So practice accepting where you are today on your mat, and then from that space, following your bliss. One more inhale, tighten up the front of your legs. Exhale, release, bring your feet down to the mat. Lift your hips and remove your block. Slowly lower your hips one vertebra at a time. Come into half happy baby. Send your left leg long on your mat. And reach up and grab the outside edge of your right foot. You could also grab your shin or the back of your thigh. Anchor the back of your left leg down onto your mat for stability and then pull on your foot. We're not warm yet, so be gentle and easy. And on your next inhale, lift your head. Change your grip so that you're reaching underneath your right leg with your right hand and capture the outside edge of your foot again. Imagine you could put your right leg over your shoulder or your upper arm like a backpack. Three, two, one left leg is still active. Now bring your knee to the center and grab your foot with both hands and curl up, bringing your forehead to your knee. This stimulates your third eye center, your intuition, which is one part of decision making. Full breath in and release. Send your right leg long and come into half happy baby on the left, knee wide, holding the outside edge of your foot. Press the back of your long leg down onto the floor and flex your foot. Remember the alternate grips that are available for you. Now lift your head and shoulders, reach under your leg. Bring your thigh onto your upper arm or shoulder and grab the outside edge of your foot. Feel your left hip opening. Three, two, one, stay lifted. Bring your knee to center. Hold both sides of your foot and round and curl forehead to knee. Make contact with your third eye center. A big breath in. Exhale, release. Take a long good morning stretch. Point your toes, arms overhead. Big breath in. Exhale, draw your knees to your chest. And give them a squeeze. Then rock and roll up. And come into tabletop. Your wrists under your shoulders, fingers spread wide. We're going to start with fire hydrant lifts on the left. Lift your left knee to the side, parallel your shin with the floor, foot flexed. Then lower and bring your knees together, hover. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hover. We're isolating our outer glute here, starting to fire it up. Three, two, one. If you're not feeling your outer glute yet, you will now. Send your leg long to the side and pulse. Lift it as high as you can. 
Tiny pulses, three, two, one. Cross your left knee behind your right knee and sink your hips back towards your heels. Stretch out that outer glute. Full breath in. Full breath out. Press into your hands. Come back into tabletop for the other side. Use all the parts of your hands so the weight's not only in your wrists. And come into your fire hydrant on the right. And exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. And lower. Move with your own breath. Try and keep equal weight in both hands. Two. One. Next time you lift, extend your leg to the side. Keep your foot flexed and pulse. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Cross it behind your other knee and sink your hips back. Full breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Rise back up through tabletop. Tuck your toes and exhale into downward facing dog. Let your head sink between your biceps. Pedal out your legs. Inhale to the top of your mat. Exhale, take tiny steps forward for ragdoll. Feet hip widths distance apart. Hold opposite elbows to shift your weight forward into the balls of your feet. Shake your head yes. Shake your head no. Both perfectly valid decisions. Feel the stretch in your back and your spine more than your legs. Keep a bend in your knees. One more breath in. Exhale, release your hands to the mat. Toe heel your feet together. And then with soft knees and a heavy head, roll up slowly. Your head is the last thing to arrive. Roll your shoulders up and back and bring your hands to heart center. As you go through class today, start with knowing and accepting where you're at today. And then practice making small decisions on your mat that are right for you. This will make the bigger decisions off your mat come more easily. Take a full inhale. Exhale, release your hands to the sides. Open your eyes. Widen your stance and let your toes point out. Feet as wide as your mat. Inhale, mountain. Reach high, rotate your palms together, lift your chin. Big breath in. Exhale, back bend, cactus arms. Bend your elbows, look up. It's more of a heart opener than a back bend. Keep your belly drawn in. Inhale back through your mountain. Exhale forward fold, pivot your feet towards each other to parallel them and then hinge forward at your hips. Let your torso be heavy, lengthen through the backs of your legs. Inhale, halfway lift, hands on your shins, bend your knees a little or a lot so you can flatten your spine and tweeze your shoulder blades together. Look down at the top of your mat to take the wrinkles out of your neck. One more inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. Plant your hands, step back, high plank. Shift your weight forward. Think of opening your chest 
Then lower halfway, elbows in. Inhale, up dog thighs off the floor. Exhale, down dog, lead with your hips. Full breath in, full breath out. Inhale, send your right leg high. Level your hips, reach up through your heel. Exhale, knee to right, tricep, hinge forward to plank. Elevator it higher up your arm. Inhale back to three-legged dog. And exhale, runner's lunge. Step your right foot outside your hands. It's a wide stance for your hips. Back leg still active. Inhale, modified pyramid. Find your blocks if you want to bring the floor closer to you. And then straighten your front leg. Keep your back heel lifted. Draw your right hip back and down. On the inhales, lengthen. And on the exhales, deepen. Keep pressing into your front foot. One more inhale. Exhale, bend your front knee. Set your blocks to the side. Come back into your runner's lunge. Pivot your right toes out a little bit. Inhale, frog chair, send your left foot forward. Rise up, hips low. On the exhale, sink your hips even lower. Keep your arms active. Inhale up to your wide mountain, straighten your legs. Exhale, back bend cactus arms. Draw your elbows to the back of the room. Inhale, wide mountain. Exhale, forward fold, parallel your feet. Slow and controlled. Inhale, halfway lift. Bend your knees. Exhale, chaturanga. Step or hop back. Inhale, up dog, spread through your collarbones. Exhale, down dog. Full breath in. On the exhale, sink your heels lower. Inhale, left leg high. Dial your pinky toe down. Reach up through your heel. Exhale, knee to left tricep. Make your knee go higher. Draw your belly in. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, active runner's lunge. Step outside your hands. Ground into your feet, grab your blocks. Inhale, modified pyramid. Straighten your front leg. Keep a micro bend in your front knee if you're prone to hyperextension. Reconnect with your circular breath. One more inhale. Exhale, back to your runner's lunge. Hands inside your feet. Inhale, frog chair, pivot your left toes out. Step your right foot forward. Hips are low, reach high. Exhale, sink a little lower. Roll onto the outside edges of your feet. Inhale, wide mountain. Exhale, back bend cactus arms. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Ride your exhale all the way down with control. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Your inhale, your exhale. Moving on, inhale, look to the top of your mat. Exhale, step or hop forward for awkward pose. Feet are hip widths distance apart this time. Tent your fingers on the floor. Lower your hips till your thighs are parallel with the floor. 
then interlace your hands and press your palms forward. You can stay right here, lengthen your neck, lower your shoulders, option to rise up on your tiptoes, or knock your knees together, and lower your hips. Try and keep your legs active, don't rest on your heels. Good posture. Remember to breathe, lower your knees a little bit, big breath in. Exhale, forward fold, straighten your legs. Release the tension, full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge, left foot back. To feel a little activation in your right outer glute, place your right hand on the outside of your shin. Press your hand into your shin as you draw your knee outward. You'll feel your right outer glute fire up. Hold that for three, two, one. Release, come back into low lunge. Inhale, open twist to the right. Squeeze your left glute, draw your right hip down. Rotate your shoulders to the side, look up. Big breath in. Exhale back through low lunge. Inhale, modified pyramid. Straighten your front leg, option for blocks. Think about lengthening your spine and then reaching your chest towards your shin. Couple of rounds of breath here. One more inhale. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, extended crescent. Reach your arms forward, ground down into your feet. Biceps by your ears. Keep your hips low. Exhale, airplane arms. Stay hinging forward. Activate your triceps all the way to your fingertips. Inhale, crescent. Rise up, keep your lower body low, lengthen through your torso. Activate your back leg. Send your left hip forward. Big breath in. Exhale, flying pyramid. Straighten your front leg, hinge forward, airplane arms. Again, you can have that micro bend in your front knee. Spread through your collarbones, tweeze your shoulder blades together. Inhale, back up through crescent. Push into the ball of your back foot. Exhale, back bend. Cactus arms. Imagine my hand behind your heart lifting it up. Inhale, crescent. Reach high. Exhale, warrior two, open up to the side. Adjust your stance so your front knee is stacked over your ankle. Maybe you can lunge a little bit deeper. Reach in opposing directions. Keep your arms active. Feel proud. Inhale, star. Burst open to the side. Activate your back body and express through your front body. Big breath in. Exhale, interlace your hands behind your back. Inhale, send your knuckles down as you open your heart. Exhale, forward fold, parallel your feet. Your knuckles go high as your head goes low. Shift your weight forward. Press your palms together. Connect with your breath. One more inhale, exhale, release your grip, pivot your heels in, inhale, back up through star, and then exhale, warrior two, pivot your toes to the front. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach up and back, find length in your left side body just as much as your right, keep your front knee open, Exhale, chaturanga. Take up space on your way down. 
option to float your right foot in an ekapada, but you can also be on your knees. You can also skip it and meet in down dog. Meet in down dog on the exhale. Lift up through your tailbone and sink your heels low. Inhale, look to the top of your mat. Exhale, step or hop to the front for awkward pose. Feet hip widths distance apart. Inhale, tense your fingers. Sink your hips low. And then interlace your hands, press your palms forward. One more time to go deeper into the posture. Maybe you rise up on your tiptoes. Bring your heels as high as you can. Maybe you lower down. Tip your knees forward, stack your shoulders over your hips. One more breath in. Exhale forward, fold, straighten your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge, right foot back. We're gonna start with that outer glute engagement. Press your left hand on the outside of your shin as you draw your knee outward. Feel your left outer glute fire up. Three, keep that pressure. Two, one, release. Inhale, open twist to the left, left hand high. Your right hand can be on a block. Find the props that support you today. Reach higher, twist more. Straighten your back leg, big breath in. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, modified pyramid. Straighten your front leg. Push into your front foot. Back heel lifted. Fold a little bit deeper with each exhale. One more breath in. Exhale, release. Come back into your low lunge. Inhale, extended crescent. Reach forward, one long line of energy. Keep your hips low. Exhale, airplane arms. Hands go back, heart goes forward. Inhale, crescent, rise up. Send your right hip forward, left hip back. Spike your back heel. Engage your belly. Exhale, flying pyramid. Straight front leg, hinge forward. Everything's active, everything's engaged. Draw skin to muscle, muscle to bone. Inhale, back through crescent. Exhale, back bend. Cactus arms, open your heart. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Open up to the right. Make sure you can see your front big toe. Fire up your triceps, lengthen your neck. Inhale, star pose. Burst open to the right side this time. Engage all your bandhas. Draw up on your pelvic floor. Draw in your belly. Big breath in. Exhale, interlace your hands behind your back. Inhale, open your shoulders, knuckles low. Exhale, parallel your feet. Wide-legged forward fold with heart opener. How can your hands go higher? Press your palms together as much as you can. See if this heart opener is working for you today. You can release it if you want to. Think about lifting your tailbone higher. One more inhale. Exhale, release your grip. Pivot your heels in. Inhale all the way up to star. 
Exhale, warrior two, bend your left knee. Look to the front. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach up and back. Exhale, chaturanga. Option for the ekapada on the left. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. You're warmer now. See if you can press your chest lower. Inhale, look to the top of your mat. Exhale, step or hop to the front. Feet hip width distance apart, forward fold. Inhale, awkward pose. Lower your hips, reach your palms forward. We'll stay up high. Stay for one more breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat spine. Exhale, low lunge, left foot back. Inhale, open twist, stack your shoulders, lower your right hip. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, pyramid, modified, straighten your front leg, back heel lifted. Exhale, low lunge. Ground into your feet, inhale, extended. Exhale, airplane arms, keep your hips low. Inhale, crescent lunge, reach high. Exhale, flying pyramid. Imagine you're taking off, reach your heart forward. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, back bend, cactus arms. Inhale, crescent. We're getting a nice flow now, kind of feel it. Exhale, warrior two. Front knee open. Inhale, star. Exhale, horse this time, hands to your heart. Lower your hips. Imagine you're leaning against a wall behind you. Roll onto the outside edges of your feet and engage both glutes. Sink your hips a little bit lower. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two. Face the front. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, chaturanga. Or meet in down dog. Or even at the top of your mat. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Full breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale, release some heat. One more side to go, you got this. Inhale, look to the top of your mat. Exhale, step or hop to the front. Forward fold, feet hip width distance. Inhale, awkward pose. Lower your hips, reach forward. Weight in your heels. Stay for a breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge, right foot back. Inhale, open twist. Lower your left hip. Stack your hands and shoulders in one line. Big breath in. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, modified pyramid. Option for blocks. Stay for a breath in. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, extended crescent, reach forward. Exhale, airplane arms stay, hinging forward. Inhale, crescent lunge. Straighten your back leg. Exhale, flying pyramid. It's a fun one. Imagine you're launching forward. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, back bend, cactus, arms, balance, challenge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Keep your front knee open. Inhale, star. Exhale, horse. Hands to your heart. Shoulders over your hips. Release any tension you're holding in your shoulders or your neck. Sink your hips lower. 
Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, chaturanga. Take it or leave it. Let go of supposed twos and decide what's right for you. Full breath in. Full breath out. Look to the top of your mat. Come through for a seat. Ooh, good flowing today. I like that one, it's kind of dancey. Have a sip of water. And create some space. And when you're ready, we'll do gate oblique bends. Come up to standing on your shins, knees under your hips. Then extend your left leg to the side, root into your heel, flex your foot, and point your toes up. We're gonna start with a side bend towards our extended leg. Sweep your right arm up and over, and let your left arm come across your body. Lengthen one side of your body while you contract the other. Inhale up through center. Go the other way. I always feel like these are ballet arms. Sway to one side with control and then the other. Press the top of your right toenails into the floor for stability. Keep your left leg super active. Inhale at the top and exhale as you bend. One more time on each side. Good, come back through center and switch your legs. Grounding into your left knee now. Send your right foot to the side. Outwardly rotate your thigh, point your toe skyward. Sweep your left arm up and over and right hand reaches across. Keep your shoulders open facing the front. Inhale up. Exhale, bend the other way. Inhale, up. Squeeze one side, lengthen the other. The more controlled, the slower you are, the bigger your movements, the more you'll be working every muscle in your body. One more time in each direction, first towards your leg. And then away from your leg. Inhale up through center. And exhale, come down onto your mat. Whew. Sit in an easy seat for pendant pose. Grab your blocks on the medium height and place them outside your hips. Your fingers will be on the outside of the block, your thumbs on the inside. We're simply going to push down, straighten our arms, and hover our hips off the floor. You may find that you can also hover your feet off the floor. The engagement that you want is drawing your belly button up and in, lifting your hips up and back. Then we'll hold that for an inhale, and we'll lower down into high boat or low boat with our legs crossed. We'll do that three times on one side. Then cross our legs the other way and do it three times on the other side. So this is a great opportunity to make choices that are right for you. You can keep your feet on the floor to help you. Tune into your own body. Get your hand grip down. Inhale, lift. Belly up and in. Hover your feet. Exhale, lower. Come through your boat with cross legs or your low boat. Inhale, rise up. Back through pendant, exhale, lower and extend. Your legs stay crossed the whole time. One more, lower and extend. Come back to your easy seat. Whew, so good. Cross your legs the other direction now for the other side. Maybe shake out your wrists. Inhale, hover your hips. Maybe you just feel the engagement. Maybe they don't hover. 
Exhale, boat. Inhale, pendant. Lolasana. Exhale, boat. One more. Beautiful. So strong. Set your blocks to the side. Lower down and come into a nice good morning stretch. Let your lower back arch up and catch your breath. I'll read you a quote by Brianna West. Your anger, it's telling you where you feel powerless. Your anxiety, it's telling you that something in your life is off balance. Your fear, it's telling you what you care about. Your apathy, it's telling you where you're overextended and burnt out. Your feelings aren't random, they are messengers. If you want to get anywhere, you need to be able to let them speak to you and tell you what you really need. I feel like we spend a lot of time trying to um, ignore our emotions, push them to the side, change them, and not enough time listening to them. I love the idea that they're messengers from beyond or from inside, really. Take one more big inhale in your Shavasana, I mean your good morning stretch, and then exhale, bend your knees, reach for the back of your thighs, rock and roll up. You can go through a chaturanga or meet in down dog. Remember, class, just like life is not about self-improvement, it's about self-acceptance. Send yourself some love for all the effort you've put in and for making it here to your mat. Full breath in, full breath out. Inhale, look to the top of your mat. Exhale, step or hop to the front. Forward fold, feet together this time. Inhale, chair pose. Sit your hips low. Reach high. Activate your outer glutes by tractioning your heels away from each other like you're ripping apart your mat. Sink your hips lower. Big breath in. Exhale, airplane root into your right foot. Send your left leg back, your arms back, level your hips. Tweeze your shoulder blades together, maybe tip a little deeper, maybe not. Inhale, come back through chair, lower your foot, reach high. Exhale, eagle on the left, left arm under, left leg over. You can take a bear hug as an alternate to eagle arms. I know we did eagle last week, but it's a great outer glute stretch. So it had to be in this class too. Elbows and knees towards the front. Stack your shoulders over your hips and then get lower. Inhale, one-legged mountain with eagle arms. Keep your arms the way they are. Lift your left knee. Straighten your right leg. Big breath in. Exhale, airplane with eagle arms. Tip forward. Level your hips. Your lifted legs active. Inhale, warrior three. Unwind your arms, reach forward, reach in opposing directions. Big breath in. Exhale, low lunge. Whew, so strong. Big step back. Inhale, open twist to the right. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, modified pyramid. We've been here before. Straighten your front leg. Exhale, low lunge. Bend your front knee. We're going to come into horizon runner's lunge. Lower your back knee. Toe heel your right foot forward and out. Your hands are inside your foot. 
Then point your right toes to the side wall and let your right knee, your front knee, your right knee just fall open. Then walk your hands to the left. This is a modified runner's lunge. We're opening our hip. Option to come to your forearms or lay down and rest your forehead on the floor, whatever is available to you. But keep your right knee open and your hips low. One more inhale, one more exhale. Come up onto your hands and move into half pigeon. Work your right foot towards the other edge of your mat. Work to parallel your shin with the front. It doesn't have to be there now. And point your left toes back. Big breath in, exhale lower down into half pigeon. Release any tension you're holding in your hands or your face or your hips. And I'll read you a quote by Joseph Campbell, the king of following your bliss. If you do follow your bliss, you put yourself on a track that has been there all the while waiting for you. And the life that you ought to be living is the one you are living. When you can see that, you begin to meet people who are in the field of your bliss, and they open doors to you. I say follow your bliss and don't be afraid, and doors will open where you didn't know they were going to be. One more inhale. Lower your hips to the side and swing your left leg around. Come to a seat with your left leg straight and forward. Your right leg's still bent, so pick it up, cradle it in any way that works for you, and rock it side to side. A bow and arrow pose. Hold onto your foot, draw your knee to the wall behind you. It's a little bit like a seated happy baby, half happy baby. Keep this leg active on the floor. Now we're gonna take that alternate grip that we did before bringing our leg like a backpack, bring your arm under, grab onto the outside edge of your foot again. Maybe get your leg up on your shoulder, maybe it's on your upper arm. Then think about lengthening your spine, lifting your heart. Practice acceptance. One more inhale. Exhale, release. So good. Now meet me back in down dog for the other side. One more side to go, then we'll be stretching for the rest of class. Full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, look to the top of your mat. Exhale, step or hop to the front. Forward fold, feet together, this time slight gap between your heels. Inhale, chair pose. Remember to activate the outer glutes, drawing your heels away from each other. Laminate your legs together, lift your heart. Exhale, airplane, root into your left foot, send your right leg back. Can you fold a little bit deeper? Arms are active, electrify your fingertips. Inhale back through chair with control, feet together, hips go low, reach high. Exhale, eagle, right arm under, right leg over. Imagine a tap root going to the center of the earth. Draw everything to the midline, have good posture. Lift your elbows. Catch your breath. On your next inhale, one-legged mountain with eagle arms. Unwind your legs, keep your grip, press your palms together, and then exhale, airplane with eagle arms. Hinge forward, slow and controlled. 
Close your right hip down, squeeze your right glute. Inhale, warrior three, unwind your arms. Reach in opposing directions, level hips, big breath in. Exhale, low lunge. Whew. Step it back, try and land lightly. Inhale, open twist, left hand high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, modified pyramid, straighten your front leg. Maybe use your blocks, maybe you don't need them now that you're warm. And exhale into the horizon runner's lunge, lower your back knee, and walk your left foot forward and out. Point your toes out to the side and let your left knee fall open. Then walk your hands to the right. Find a version of this nice opened hip runner's lunge that works for you. We're here for a few breaths. Inhale, walk your hands back up. And exhale into half pigeon on the other side. Move your left foot towards the right. You can always lay on your back and do a figure four stretch if half pigeon doesn't feel good in your body. Once you're centered, come down into sleeping pigeon. Mike Dooley wrote, it's as if before you there are countless doorways all leading to new and different hallways. So you wonder and think, calculate and stress over whether or not you'll knock on the right one. But what you can't see yet is that all of the hallways beyond all of the doors eventually lead to the same great room in the same great house with the same great party. So you may as well pick the one that you want. I love that. It takes some of the stress out of decision making. Take one more full inhale on this side. Exhale, let your hips fall to the left. Swing your white right leg around and straighten it towards the front of the room. Pick up your left bent leg, rock it like a baby. Inhale, bow and arrow pose. Hold the outside edge of your foot with your knee wide and pull your leg back like you're drawing back your bow. Check in with the rest of your body as your heart lifted, your spine straight, your grounded leg active. And one more inhale here. Then bring your left arm underneath your left leg, backpack it. See how high you can get it up your arm, under your shoulder. Try and lengthen your spine at the same time. Big breath in. And exhale, release. So good. Shake out your legs. And meet in Baddha Konasana. Bring the soles of your feet together. I'm going to face the front for this but you don't have to, just demonstrating. You want a wide Baddha Konasana, so a large diamond between your legs, heels away from your pelvic floor. Bring your blocks in whatever setting you need, both of them stacked on top of your feet. Then thread your forearms underneath your legs for bound Baddha Konasana, and bring your forehead to rest on your blocks. Thread them through even more, and as your knees open, feel your back open as your arms are pressed low. I love this posture. It feels like you're creating a quiet little space for yourself. We need those quiet little spaces for inspiration to hit and to hear our inner voice. A lovely balance of thinking and stillness. On your next. 
next inhale, liberate your arms. Rise up, remove your blocks. Now we're gonna do a similar posture, but balancing on our hips. One at a time, bring your legs up. Maybe it hooks all the way over your shoulder. Maybe it's on your upper arm. And thread your arms underneath. Then extend your arms to the side, palms up. Maybe the soles of your feet are together. Maybe your toes point. Try and keep a lifted heart, long spine. Maybe you can even straighten your legs. Find what works for you and just balance there for a minute. Stay connected to your circular breath. Three, two, one, release. So good. Shake out your legs and then come to lay on your belly for crocodile pose. Stack your forearms together. Rest on your elbows. And then work your elbows forward till your lower ribs touch the floor and your upper ribs are lifted. Your feet are a comfortable distance apart and rest your forehead on your forearms. There's a sway in your back. Try and stay fully present on your mat. Take one more full inhale here. And then work your elbows further out till you're lowered down for some crocodile lifts. On the inhale, lift your legs and your elbows off the floor and exhale, tap it down. We're gonna do five. Lift, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, fire up your back body. Exhale, lower, let your forehead rest on your forearms, lift. Lower, one more, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Bring your left arm into a cactus arm and rest your left cheek on the mat. Bend your right leg, push into your right hand for half scorpion twist. Stack your right hip over your left hip as you twist. Keep your elbow at shoulder height. You decide how much of a stretch this is by how much you twist. Send your breath where you feel tightness. One more inhale. Exhale, unwind. Other side. Bring your right cheek to the mat. Goal post your right arm. Bend your left leg. Press into your left hand. Half scorpion twist on the other side. Keep your elbow at shoulder height. Maybe your left toe touches the floor. Maybe it hangs out in the air. One more inhale. Exhale, release. Now slip over onto your back. Come into a happy baby. You can face the bottom of your mat. That's okay. Just flip over like a pancake. Reach up and grab the outside edges of your feet. This is our full happy baby. Try and flatten your spine on the floor. And release your feet. Draw your knees into your chest. Squeeze. And exhale into Supta Baddha Konasana. Soles of your feet together. Knees wide. Prepare for half, modified half when removing pose. Start by drawing your right knee into your chest and leave your left leg where it is. Use your left hand to hold your right knee as you squeeze it in. Now, if it works in your body, just reach down with your right hand and grab your left toes. 
So you're drawing your right knee into your chest with your left hand and your left knees are just relaxed, wide and open. Keep your shoulders anchored down. One more breath in. And release. Come back into your Supta Baddha Konasana soles of your feet together for the other side. Draw your left knee into your chest. Hold it with your right hand, your opposite hand. Squeeze. Then, keeping your right leg open, maybe reach down and grab your toes with your left hand. See if you're holding tension in your hips, let it go. A couple of rounds of breath here. One more full breath in. Exhale, release. Inhale into full wind removing pose, curl up into a ball. Make the smallest version of yourself and then take your deepest inhale of the day. And exhale into Shavasana, send your legs long. Wrap your shoulder blades underneath you. Relax your hips. Let your body be heavy, your heart be open, and your mind be light. I'm going to close with my all-time favorite quote on decision-making by Deepak Chopra. If you obsess over whether you are making the right decision, you are basically assuming that the universe will reward you for one thing and punish you for another. The universe has no fixed agenda. Once you make any decision, it works around that decision. There is no right or wrong, only a series of possibilities that shift with each thought, feeling, and action that you experience. Take a moment in Shavasana just to assimilate that truth. And start to deepen and lengthen your breath. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Circle out your ankles and your wrists. Let your head fall to one side and then to the other. Take a long good morning stretch. Notice all the space you created in your body. And then exhale into fetal pose on your favorite side. Curl up into a ball and use your bicep as a pillow. This week, try and let go of the idea that there's any right and wrong decisions. Instead, just practice accepting who you are and where you are right now. And then taking small steps that are in alignment with the kind of life that you want to create. On your next inhale, with as little movement as possible, rise up to an easy seat on your mat. Bring your hands to third eye center, your center of intuition. The light, the love, the teacher, the student, and the hot mess in me 
recognizes and adores the light, the love, the teacher, the student, and the hot mess in each of you. Namaste. Thanks so much for celebrating New Year's week with me on your mat. I just want to acknowledge that you, by making the decision to come to your mat today and practice yoga, is you making a choice that's in the direction of your bliss. So good job. You're already doing it. And I just want to recommend to you on my website, the Buzz article this week, it's all about guidelines for decision making. So if you've been feeling any stress about any big or small decisions in your life or where you want this next year to take you, check it out for some good advice from the masters about um, how to make decisions. I hope you have a wonderful week and a wonderful year. I'll see you next time at Be Free Yoga.